You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another very special episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. Thank you for being back with us today and spending a few minutes of your very valuable time with us. We do appreciate it. We do, wherever you're listening, whether it's in the car, in your treehouse, or maybe you're listening to the sweet, sweet sounds of Ask Drone You while you're laying in bed trying to get some Z's. <laughs> Wherever you are, you're in the right place. Because here at Smooth Jazz 95.5, we've got everything that you need to get your drone into buttery smooth territory. Wow. I'm going to be listening. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome to another show. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by our DroneU community. Just go to DroneU.education. If you're looking to increase your confidence, you want to get smoother footage, eliminate that yaw, and maintain the competitive advantage to really maintain the future of your company. If you don't focus on quality in your niche, you could be in trouble soon. So make sure that you have the best quality skills available on the market. Just join DroneU today. One low monthly fee equates to about... 27 classes as of right now that will be increasing by the end of this month 27 classes to get you in a better drone zone drone you dot education all right rob let's hear it hey i'm zach and i just had a question about the screens whether or not it's a good investment to go with the the one that comes with a um phantom 4 pro uh controller um the crystal sky or an iPad or an NVIDIA Shield or um, anything like that. So just what your opinion is on the best screen for the price, because I know that the high-end ones can get really high up there in price. So what's the best investment to make for secondary screen? Secondary screen, huh? Yeah, he did say secondary. Very interesting. Well, I think it's a solid question. Now, I will say that, you know, this whole answer really depends on where you live. Because if you live in an area like the East Coast where it really doesn't get that hot, you know, I know you guys say the humidity and the temperature and it feels like 105. Well, come out to the Southwest and feel 105. Um, and you'll notice it's it's very different. Um it's different in, in, in many ways, too. You know, on the East Coast, it may actually feel more swampy and more hot, like you never really got out of the shower. And I don't know about you, Rob, but SAS is a serious disease. I don't know what SAS is. Sweaty Aho Syndrome. <laughs> that, yeah, that is very serious. That's why I live in the Southwest. It's a dry heat, as yes. they say. But that dry heat can also heat up electronics much, much faster hmm. uh, than on the East Coast because that direct sunlight, it's just it's just totally different. So yes. uh, that being said, um, if you're in the Southwest, you're in somewhere where it's really hot, maybe you're down in Florida, maybe you're down in Puerto Rico. If you're down in any of those areas, you're probably going to need a, a solution that can handle the heat a little bit better. So and I hate not an iPad. Not an iPad, not a phone, not a small HD screen. Um, you're going to need something like a Crystal Sky. And I, and I was never really a big proponent of the Crystal Sky, but it handles the heat better than any other solution that I've seen so far. You know, Because when the iPad gets really, really hot, you just lose the whole screen, then you lose the whole iPad. Um, so for a while, I was flying on my phone. And I know a lot of people, both my age and older, just really can't, you know, get what they need out of flying off of a phone. And I even noticed that, um, you know, we were flying out with uh, Jason Flakes, and he had night mode on on his phone, and it, it takes, like, the blue light out, so it's, mm. like, yellow. And I was like, everything looked so different to me. I was like, how do you know if your white balance looks good or not? Like, ah, I don't, I just don't know. <laughs> so, um, and he is a professional he's, photographer. Yeah, he's very good. Yes, he's he very, is. very, very good. Um, but anyway, that being said, it really depends on where you live. So if you live in, 
uh, let's say you live in the Southwest and you need something that really handles the heat. You live in Arizona. The crystal sky is not only good for being able to be used in the heat. You may lose the ability to change certain settings when it gets hot, but you're still going to have an image. We were using the crystal sky in about 95 degrees and it was still working pretty, pretty well. The other benefit of the crystal sky screen is that you can input other SD cards into uh, the crystal sky and have a backup of your footage in case you lose the footage for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And that's really beneficial. Absolutely. You know, that's really, really beneficial. What about compared to the plus to the, uh, the monitor that comes on the controller with the four? I'm not a big fan of that one. Now, I know uh, that you can finally get other third-party apps on that controller. You can now get third-party apps on the Crystal Sky itself. Um, you know, all, everything isn't perfect. Um, but if you're into mapping and whatnot, I'm not sure that the Crystal Sky is a good solution for you, in all honesty. I think an iPad is still a better solution. Hmm. Um, but again, you've got to have the weather factor. I think that's really, really important. So. so if you're in an environment like, say, the West Coast, where it's pretty mild, say San Diego, then something like an iPad or a phone is probably just fine. Um, you know, if you're in San Diego, you may run into the same problems, in all honesty, because it's pretty dang hot. But most of the time, you're going to be, what, 75 to 85 degrees at the and, most? And I would say, yeah, you should be okay. Yeah. So I would say you're, you're definitely going to be okay. Hmm. So for the money, depends on where you're at, but if it's not going to be too hot, then you can get by just fine with a phone or... True. The, the iPad mini or whatever <laughs> iPad you prefer to use, sounds like you'd be just fine. That is very true. Very, very, very true. Here's the other benefit. The Crystal Sky screen can do what the iPad cannot. You have a direct way to watch 4K, 6K, H.265, and H.264 footage that comes out of the drone itself. Mm -hmm. Now, that offers a really, really, really incredible um, way to playback footage on site without having to use some adapter on your iPad to watch footage or utilize batteries while you're connected you know, to um, the vehicle itself. And you know what? It's just it's really beneficial for that. But again, the best screen possible probably is the Crystal Sky. If you're in an area where it doesn't get too hot, the best screen that you can have is probably an iPad Mini, whatever the latest generation is. Right. So. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, very good. Yeah, That's and if you forward. if you have poor vision, maybe go with an iPad Pro. I don't know. <laughs> you have someone hold it for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand there and hold it for you? Is yeah. that how that works? Exactly how it works. Nice. But anyway, that's going to do it for us here today, guys. Uh, my name is Paul. And I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.